Wondering about the differences between Canva Free versus Canva Paid? or Canva Free versus Canva Pro, which is what the paid version is called. In this video, I'll break down the key differences so you can decide whether or not it's worth upgrading. All right, let's get into it. What's up, busy people? Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media. If your business is new to social media or feeling stuck, you're in a great place. We help businesses get high quality results from their social media without wasting all of your valuable time. If that sounds like something you could use, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell, so you get notifications when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, we're talking about Canva Free versus Canva Paid, or Canva Free versus Canva Pro, which is what the paid version is called. Is it worth the monthly investment for you? I'm gonna break down the key differences between the two programs so you know whether you need the paid one or if you're just fine with the free one, which is actually pretty robust. And personally, I use Canva almost every day in my business. I use it on my websites. I use it on my social media, especially making cover photos for groups and pages. I use it to make all my video thumbnails for YouTube. And a lot of it can be done with the free version, but let me show you the primary differences between free and paid, or Canva and Canva Pro. One of the most basic functions that I couldn't live without is the ability to save your image with a transparent background. So I'll make a lot of graphics in Canva like this five minute Facebook facelift, or like here's a great one that I made for a video. And normally in the free version, if I went to save this or download it, I would essentially have it on a white background, and therefore that white background would be there wherever. But inside Canva Pro, I can click this box right here for transparent background, and then when I choose it, it will actually download it with a transparent background that I can put on to other things, on a website, on a social media graphic, any number of places, in a video, which is where I use this. The other two features I like that are only available in Canva Pro when you go to download is one, if I am working on a website and so I wanna make sure that the image size isn't too big, like it's not too many megabytes, so I can actually click compress the file and it may make it lower quality. If you do that as a JPEG, you can uh, say compress the file and then you can actually adjust what file size you want it to be and what quality, so depending on how big the image is gonna be. And then the other one that I like that's available here on these PNG files is you can actually change the size. So maybe I designed this at 1080 by 1920, but I'm actually gonna upload it and I wanna make sure it's higher res. So I can do one and a half, two X, you can see this number here changing and the image is getting bigger. Or maybe I want it somewhere smaller and rather than taking the time to resize the whole image, I can just cut it in half right there. So again, another massive time saver inside of Canva Pro. Speaking of resizing, one-click resize is another awesome feature inside Canva Pro that's not available in the free version. I can come up here to resize, and so let's say that I've designed, let's use this one as the example. So let's say I've designed this as an Instagram story post, because that's what this dimension is. And instead, I want to make it into a square that I want to put in the Instagram feed. I can click resize here at the top, and you can actually go through and choose the pre-sized ones, or if you know the dimensions, you can just type them in. So I choose Instagram post, I want it to be a square. And then I have an option to just resize here, or I can copy and resize it to a new file. So I hit resize, and it automatically, it does its best to change it, but now I know I can easily just drag these out, and now I've got it. So it literally took 10 seconds to make a new version for Instagram feed instead of Instagram stories. Of course, if I wanted the text bigger, you know, takes me another three seconds. Another one of my favorite features is in Canva Pro, you can have your own brand kit, meaning your colors and your fonts. So here, these are the two colors that are in my logo, along with some other colors that I use regularly. I don't ever have to copy and paste in a hex code or find it anywhere. I've got my palette available to me all the time, and you can't do that in the free version of Canva. Also, you can upload your fonts and actually set your default fonts. So you can say, okay, well, when I want a title font, it's this font and it's this size. Subheadings are this size, and then when I have body text, I want it to be this font and this size every single time. Plus, you can upload fonts if you want, if they don't already exist. 
So if your brand uses a font that's not already available in Canva, in Canva Pro, you can upload it and have it as part of your brand kit. Just a massive time saver if you're doing things for your brand all the time. Canva Pro will also let you export your designs as an animation. So that's this feature here at the bottom of the download menu. So I can click on that, and then there are different patterns you can click through, and it will automatically turn them into an animation, which is really slick. And you can also choose if you want it to be a GIF or an MP4 video file. A few more helpful features that are included in Canva Pro that are not included in the free version of Canva. You get way more templates, way more photos, and way more graphics that are all included for free with Canva Pro that aren't available in the free version. You also can have unlimited folders to organize everything you design so you can keep all your logos in one place. Or if you work with multiple brands, maybe you have multiple companies or you manage for other people, you can organize everything that way. You get 100 gigabytes of storage instead of just one gigabyte for your uploads. And down here, you get 24-7 support. So if you get stuck, run into any issues, Canva's there to back you up, and that's included with Canva Pro. As of this recording, Canva Pro is $9.95 a month if you pay for a year up front, or $12.95 per month if you pay monthly, either of which is way cheaper than having to outsource or hire graphic designers or anything like that. If you go to 5minutesocialmedia.com slash Canva, you can go there and you can actually get a full 30-day free trial to decide if Canva Pro is right for you. So what are you gonna go with, Canva Free or Canva Pro, which is the paid version? Both are good options. I would love to know what you're choosing in the comments of this video. You can get more information about Canva. Just go to 5minutesocialmedia.com slash Canva to get started. And as you can probably tell by the name of the channel, 5-Minute Social Media, we are obsessed with saving you time. So grab these six ways to cut your social media workload in half, linked up on your screen right now. If you don't see it there on your device, grab the link in the description of this video. It's 100% free. Thank you so much for supporting 5-Minute Social Media. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.